Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to my jewelry pop-up sale. Now I know for my decor people, I apologize, but I will be coming on today in a little bit for decor. Um, I have so many things to do for decor. I want to give you some updates um, in the yard, but I am going to be doing a live also for my decor channel, so don't be man, just come back and watch. <laughs> Okay. Hi, Becky. Hi, Michelle. Thank you. Yeah, I think this is better as far as lighting anyways on my phone, but I hate coming on to my decor for jewelry because um, people get upset. My jewelry or my decor family gets upset. <laughs> so um, I have quite a few things I need to offer to you guys today, but I'm on a limited time because I have a ton of things to get done. I had to work the last couple of days and um, I want to get on my decor again to do something for decor. So I'm just going to be buzzing through things very quickly. I'm going to start back with what I sh started showing on my other channel. I just, I, I was pixelating and buffering and that's why I'm on here. So we'll start over. These are $12. They are Mother Pearl Discs and coral bamboo branch little stalks aren't they beautiful so there's that version and then this one has the coral at the top and bottom very springy and summery isn't that pretty so there's that version and this version and they're twelve dollars they pretty I just love these okay and those are 12 I think of white and red as springy and I'm so happy for spring okay I'm gonna keep moving along because we've got a, I have a lot to show you um, what's Today's the first, right? <gasps> Today's my friend's birthday. Hi, Tamika. Happy birthday. I need to call her. Okay, so today is 3 1. Right? Today's the first, right? I think so. Okay. Next one, I'm going to show. I'm not going to make it Michelle, but I do have a few moonstone options yes you heard me <laughs> um so francis i don't know if you saw i'm going to show it real quick there was this version of the mother of pearl and coral bamboo with on the top and the bottom and this version and they're 12. Okay, and then I'm going to show a moonstone version or a pair of earrings. And there's a few things, guys, I'm offering you today, but I only have limited quantities, and that's I'll show you that in a second. And there we go. If I miss your comments, let's see. Editing, listening, and editing. Perfect. So this one here is Moonstone in the center, as you can see. Then you have Aqua Quartzite. So she paired it with the more darker Aqua, lighter Aqua, Moonstone, and it repeats. And these are $12. Aren't they beautiful? I don't know if you could see. Oh, they're so pretty and so like dreamy, like oceany. These are gorgeous. I love these. And these are 12. And I thought of you, Michelle, when I got them from her. You could see the flash behind, too. Let's see here. I'm catching it. I would like the one on the right, please. Okay. Let me go back. These, Francis, this one, right, with the 
coral on top. I think that's the one you mean. So let me write that down. Francis. Uh, mother of pearl, coral on top. Thank you so much. Let me catch up to everyone else. Um, okay. And Michelle, you, I'm assuming you're wanting the moonstone. Right? Aren't they so dreamy? Okay. And if anyone else wants these, I do have multiples from her. So if someone else wants what Francis got or what um, Michelle got, let me know. Let me write this down. Michelle. So this is Aqua Quartzite. And um, Moonstone. And these are nice quality Moonstone. I can just tell. Thank you so much. Okay, what else are you guys saying? Hey, Gianna, how are you? How are you feeling, actually? Oh, you want the other, uh, the coral on the top and the bottom. On top and bottom. Got it, Francis. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Got it. Okay. Hi, Amanda. How are you? Hi, Roberta. <laughs> roomies. I wish you guys were my roomies. <laughs> Actually, I'm renting the room out in the front, and so far the candidates have not been. Okay, you get me for the moonstone. <laughs> Hi, Doris. Doris, I got your email. I have sent the invoice. I don't know why it's not going through. Um, maybe if you have a different email, I can send your invoice to. And I hope you're feeling better, by the way. Hi, Sandy. Okay, I think I'm caught up now. Yes. Okay. Next one. Uh, let's see. I'm going to try to mix it up a little bit. Okay. Now, these are green aventurine. Yeah. And, um, freshwater pearls. And they're like the little potato pearls. They're two sizes. These are beautiful. That's a lot of pearl. And look at the green aventurine, how gorgeous that is. Yep, Michelle. I can't show you all my goods. It's like a date, you know. I can't show everything right away. <laughs> can't give it away yet. Isn't this pretty? So we have, they're like the um, opalescent or the uh, AB and um, of the freshwater pearls. And then you have the venturine. Oh, aren't these pretty? And these are going to be $12. So that's in the lighting, but my light is like literally next to me. This is natural light. And these are 12 Okay. Look at. Look how cute the little potato, the fatty ones on the bottom. <laughs> it's like a date. I can't show you everything. I don't care if it's a third date. It's <laughs> Let's see. I don't know if it would be a good roommate. I'm an early bird. My husband isn't. Oh, I, I get up really early too. Even when I don't get sleep. Even when I'm tired, I'll get up. Oh, I know, Doris. Um, does your daughter have an email address? Because I sent it like three times to your email. I'm thinking maybe, maybe you know what, Doris? I'll, I have your phone number. I'll call you. And then that way, when you see a number with 916, that's me. I'll call you after this, and then we'll, we'll, get, we'll get to the bottom of it. Because I want you to get your stuff. Yes, so, so far, Michelle, that pair of Moonstone earrings, unless you want more. Aw, oh, thank you, Doris. <laughs> I literally, like, slapped everything on today, and I'm wearing, I have three of these blouses from Walmart. They're like my uniform, you know? I, I buy, like, multiples of everything. It makes it easy. If I like the cut, I'm going to buy multiples, and it has the little, you know, the 
zigzag on the side, and then it has like a, um, what's this called? Like a, a flounce sleeve, three quarters. Great buy sometimes. Okay, the next ones are, these are gonna, um, these are beautiful. These are, oops, there we go. Um, these are, uh, what is it called? Oh my gosh, brain fart. Um, abalone. Abalone, hematite, and aqua bell sleeve. Thank you. Yes. And uh, hematite, aqua, quartzite, and abalone. And these are 15. And and like she said, every, every one is a little bit different. So they all have natural shapes to them and colors, but she tries to pair together everything as best as she can. So see these have little natural marks in them. That one does. This one does. I don't think you can see on this one right here. Or you could switch it to this side. They're all very, you know, unique. But it has faceted hematite at the top, aqua quartzite, the abalone, aqua quartzite again, and then the faceted um, Hematite. So these are 15 if anyone is interested. Aren't they pretty? Doesn't that just, this says the ocean. Like, I want to be a mermaid and let's go swimming. <laughs> okay, thank you, Francis. So if anyone else wants a pair of these, I have multiples. Well, I just tell her and she makes some for me. Hi, Anna. Taking to get my strength back. I bet. I know, Doris. Thank you, Francis. So these are, let's see, abalone, aqua, quartzite, and hematite. Got it. Thank you so much. And if anyone else would like one, they are 15. And they're very thick abalone. There's nothing, like, uh, in the middle, you know? It's all abalone. It's sometimes people, or, you know, some things have resin in the middle, and then they put the outer shell on each side, but these are thick and natural. Okay. Let's see here. Then I have, oh, I think I'll, okay, I'll show this one. These are um, Mother of Pearl and um, Quartzite in like a cream color. Um, yeah. So that's the natural lighting of them. Okay, they're very thick, as you can see. I love how she paired them together. She matches everything up as best as she can. Look at how the shell is matching. And the thickness, they're very thick. But these are light. And they're like a cream-colored quartzite. And then it's a mother of pearl. These are $7 if you are interested. And these are really pretty really pretty that's oh here's the back I kind of like you can wear them either way look it I like how she really put the colors together hi Jennifer Isn't that pretty okay so I have those then I have let me show you these These are blue center agate for the base and blue agate and yeah, it's all blue agate actually. There's different colors of it, versions of it. 
So I don't know if you could see the detail on the inside of these rectangular pieces, but it's, uh, let me put light on it, maybe you could see. Can you see that veining in there? That's like light right next to it. But they're like a light aqua, and then you've got the agate above, or uh, blue agate above it, and then a different color of the blue agate on top, a darker one. Aren't these beautiful? And these are 12, if anyone's interested. They're so pretty, you guys, so feminine. Hi, Pam. Oh, Pam, I have um, Howlite earrings. I know you were asking about them. But they weren't posts. They were little dangles, but they were small. And I don't remember where I put them, but I got them from my friend that she made. <clears throat> okay, so there's those. Then we have these. Let me take a sip of my water. They're white, but they're matte. I don't know if that makes a difference for you. They're, they're not high polished, but you really can't tell um, close to, you know, up here. You could see the veining and everything. Um, these are abalone, aqua color, and um, blue agate, just different versions of the blue agate. So that's in the lighting, and you could see the thickness of them. And then that's in natural light. Okay, I'll definitely, I don't have them right now that I pulled, but I'll, I'll shoot you a picture of them. Aren't these beautiful? Okay, these are $7 if anyone's interested. These say ocean <laughs> to me too. I'm a mermaid. I think, I honestly feel like I've had dreams about like me wanting to be a mermaid <laughs> when I was a kid. Okay, thank you. Now I have multiples of these because um, I get them from my friend. So if anyone else would like a pair, they're beautiful. I love the agate, the darker agate on top and then the lighter blue aqua on the bottom and then the abalone. Okay, thank you, Pam. So abalone, aqua abalone with Blue Agate. Thank you so much. Those are really pretty. Okay, and Francis, you want a pair? I know they do remind me of an ocean. And <laughs> I would love to be a mermaid. <laughs> that's why my, my um, major was marine biology. Well, not that's why. I love the ocean, but... Um, and I thought it was going to be the next Jacques Cousteau. <laughs> and then I changed it again. Thank you. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show... Oh, yes, these. Oops. There we go. Okay, these are rose quartz. <laughs> you saw a mermaid at Dana Point? <laughs> Was it me? I'm just kidding. I get around, you know. I'm a pretty fast swimmer. Um, me and Jacques, I know. Has he passed yet? I don't. Th I think he's still around. Okay, these are very chunky. I don't even know the carrots on these, to be honest. 
Um, very chunky rose quartz. They're gorgeous. They're, there are no hard edges on the rose quartz. And then you have the aventurine on top. Look at these beauties. So that's in the lighting. And this is the natural light. Oh, aren't these gorgeous? Look how thick they are. Let's see. Look how thick they are and how they're carved. These are 15 if anyone's interested. And they are beautiful. Look at it. Oh, I love these. These I like. I told her I'll get a pair for myself later. Aren't they beautiful? And aventurine is an expensive stone. So these rose quartz has a lot of healing properties, but so does aventurine. I don't remember what they are, but I do know that they are. And I like how she took time to match up the stones so they lay kind of on top of each other. She's very, um, does intricate work. And those are 15. Uh, it was a rent and burn me business that was having a photo shoot. Oh my God, how funny. Laura, he was born in 1910. Oh, he died in 97. I see, I didn't even know. I'm so out of it. Wow. Wow, he lived a long time. He was 87. I don't know. <laughs> That's so terrible. <laughs> wow, he was really ahead of his time. You know that? Okay, moving on from the rose quartz. Oh, I love that color combo and how thick they are. They are not heavy, by the way. Okay. Then, I have these other moonstone. <laughs> um, they are put with Hematite, faceted hematite, and they have really good, um, what's it called, um, fire. Uh, these particular ones are called um, moonstone opals. And then they have the faceted hematite on the top and the bottom, and they're two sizes. I think it's an 8 millimeter and maybe 10 millimeter. And these are 15, if anyone's interested. So that's with the lighting. You can see the fire behind it. This is natural light, and they are 15, and these are beautiful, very classic, very just sultry. Aren't these pretty? Mm, these are nice. Okay, 15 on those. I don't remember what the properties for moonstone are, but it is a popular stone. Oh, I'm out of my water. Okay, next one is, I'm going to show this little vintage necklace here. And then I'll show you my little limited editions of the items that I have to show you guys. Because I, I think it's close to 3 o'clock, isn't it? Okay, I'll, I'll, um, I'm going to call you, and while we're on the phone, I'm going to resend it, Doris, and then that way we'll know for sure if you got it. That way it'll just take care of it in one full swoop. Okay, because, <clears throat> um, 310, okay. Yeah, because I, I spelled your name right, because I remember asking you. Now, this one's a vintage piece. Um, it is Shell. I don't, I can't remember the name of the shell, but it's like a green on the outside, green and brown, and um, it's very intricate, and oh, it's so beautiful. It's got yellow on the inside, green on the outside, so you could flip it, kind of flips either way, you know. It's very pretty. It's so, like, delicate and just beautiful, and they put these little beads with it. It's really pretty. So that's with the lighting, but this is with the natural lighting. Look how pretty. So you can see the green of the shell. 
and the yellow of the shell, and it's all like knotted, and then it's, um, they wrapped it this way. Oh, there we go. So the shell is actually the little latch, and then see how they put this yellow, I guess it's like some, it's like a natural material, so it feels like a raffia or something of like natural fiber, and um, so this one, Becky, this one is only $5, and it is vintage, and it's just so pretty. I was going to put it on, but it, I kind of ran out of time. Okay, thank you, Becky. It's just, look at, look how beautiful it is and delicate. I know the lighting with this light bulb next to me. You can't see how beautiful it is, but it's so pretty. Oh, it is. It's so pretty. And it's vintage. Okay, so I'm going to put this right here because I don't want it to tangle up. Becky. Five. Vintage. I'm just going to call it Vintage Shell Multi-Strand Necklace. Okay. Thank you. Okay. In the spirit of being spring and all, um, this is a new necklace. I wore it once on my live. <laughs> But, and I do love it because it's got starfish, sh clam shells, conch shells, all these different shells in it, um, scallop shells, and then uh, I can't remember, mol uh, mol mollus shells. It's navy, gold tone, and um, yeah, navy and gold tone. I know, me too. I... You know, being in California, how can you not be attracted to shells and sand? Okay, thank you, Michelle. Let's see, Michelle. Moon. I'm going to call them double moonstone with hematite earrings. Thank you so much. Got it. And I have more of each. Um, but you guys have to just tell me which ones you like. Yes. Thank you. Okay. This one. Now I love this. I love that the back has a little heart off the extender on the lobster claw, which I'll show. Goes like that. So this is great with any like white cream navy oatmeal color you name it and it's gold tone and look at all the little with the lighting look at all of the little um charms this one's a new okay thank you michelle <laughs> um i think that one's called mollusk mollusk this is a starfish, um, that's a scallop, and then there's, I can't remember what that one's called. It's like a, uh, I can't remember. I thought it was a conch, but I don't think it is. I think this bigger one is a conch, this big one. Oop. It's just so pretty. I mean, it's got all these shells. I just love it. Clam shell. There. It's really pretty on, and I don't know why I'm not keeping it, but I have so much that I have not worn. Anyways, <laughs> this one's $7 if anyone's interested. It is chunky. It's very coastal. It is new. And here's the back. It has like a little heart on the lob lobster claw. Hey, I know Kathy, huh? I, I know. I'm trying to come on earlier. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? It's 
So seven on that one. Okay. How are you, Kathy? And it looks purple with this light, but it's actually navy. Really pretty. I know. Remember when I used to come on on Sundays, like around noon? And then, I don't know, I think I got away from it because work got really crazy busy after, uh, in the spring for me. And so I just came on randomly at night, you know. But I am going to try to come on earlier because I can't handle so late. Okay, next one. Oh, these actually kind of go with, um... The necklace you bought, um, Becky, I don't know if you're interested, but they are mother of pearl, they're chunky, and then you have the yellow quartzite on top. I know, Becky, for sure. Look at, look how pretty. And if you want more of the highlight of the caramel color, just flip them. Isn't that pretty? These are beautiful. And these are six if you are interested. Okay. All right. Um, let's see here. All right. Before I go back, I'm going to offer my limited quantity of what I'm about to show you. <laughs> okay. So I had one more package, but there was only one box left in it. Um... Remember I said I was going to be doing these, it's a linen box, um, and this will have, um, they're new, this will, oh, I, I put a, a little tag in here of like what I'm including, but it's going to be the lip gloss, the nail polish that is um, cruelty free, and then jewelry, and it's going to be nice jewelry, you know, nothing with wear of course, and it's a linen linen box with little gemstones and the back is like a like a silk I think and the bottom and the inside so I have one left I will be filling it with the two pieces of makeup that's new and jewelry and it's 15 okay if anyone wants that and let me show you some fashion jewelry really quick, and then I'll go to the other limited thing that I have. Okay. Yeah, let me just bring the box over. <clears throat> okay, so if you're a reseller or not, doesn't matter. I'm going to give you the price that each of these could go. This is an Ann Taylor piece. Um, it has a faux pearl and uh, rhinestone. Um, this can go from like 11 to 15, 20 online, and I'm selling it for five. It is brand new. I can tell. There's no absolutely nowhere on it. It's hallmarked right here. Is Ann Taylor and then has like a little um, I think because her mark is a simulated diamond and I think that's going to be the simulated diamond right next to her name right where my nail is right there I know it's hard to see but it's right there anyways this is five dollars it's a cuff and you can make it bigger or smaller um, however you may like it Five dollars for me, or you could buy a lion for more. Isn't that pretty? And it's Ann Taylor. <laughs> okay. Next thing. Thank you guys for the thumbs up. I appreciate it. Oh, okay. I want to show you guys this. So, this is um, 
Howlite. It's a pentagon. Let's see. One, two. No. A hexagon sphere of Howlite. It's new. And it has a stainless steel veil and base or um, setting. It's pretty. This one's 15 if anyone would like it. It is pretty heavy. Not heavy, but like it's pretty substantial. It's a lot of how light. And it's really pretty. Nice bail. Big bail to where you can put like a nice thick chain on it if you want to. And this one's 15. Look how the lighting is just so bright. And that's how light. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Next thing that I have are. I can't remember exactly how many I, I have of these, but I think it's six of them. This is the fun thing. Okay, so this is, um, these are brand new jars. They're mason jars. They're like an uh, aqua color with a bunny. And they are food safe. Yeah, candy jar. So they are food safe. So you could put food in here, but what I'm going to do, because I'm not going to put the makeup in here. If you want to, I can, but I'll be switching things out. I'm going to do fashion jewelry in this, but like, you know, nice fashion jewelry. Um, and I don't put anything with wear. Um, everything is going to be very nice condition or new. Um, and the whole thing, the mason jar will be filled. I have, I think, four or six of the aqua and two or three of yellow. And I think the yellow are also bunnies. But they're so cute for Easter. And I was going to do something different. You know how in the past I've done the stockings or Santa hats for stockings and then I did the hearts for Valentine's. These, I'm only going to do however many of these I have, um, and they are glass, they are food safe, so all the jewelry that I'm putting in here will be um, in plastic baggies, because you know, I put everything in plastic baggies, <laughs> so then you could, you know, give it to your children, fill it with jelly beans and chocolates and whatnot. but um, they are brand new, they are $15, they're a regular size mason jar. I love the color. They're new. And they'll be $15 plus shipping. So I'll do like a flat rate. But I have yellow and aqua. But I think I have more of the aqua. And it'll be filled with fashion jewelry. So sorry, I'm trying to give you like the real color. So it, aren't they cute? So there'll be a lot of goodies in here. So if you are a reseller, you're going to get a lot of goodies in here. Um, yeah. So 15 on these. And it's fun. And then that was the limited quantity ones I was talking about. That and then the little linen box. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show is um, a Sarah Coventry Angel Pin, brooch, not a pin, and it's a vintage one. Um, this goes for $20 on um, Poshmark, and it's got rhinestones in the halo, a faux pearl for the face, and it's so cute. It's gold tone over stainless steel. Look at this little girl. Little angel, I mean. Isn't that pretty? It's like a little girl angel. I think she's barefoot, and her little haircut is like a bob. So it's going for 20 on Posh. I'm going to sell it for 10 
Here's the back, and it is marked Sarah Coventry. Um, it's marked right here behind the pin part. <laughs> Isn't that cute, Roberta? <laughs> A little sweet angel. I'm surprised it doesn't say Lori Boone on the back. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so that one's 10. And it has pretty little rhinestones. And the ones I did see online were a lot of silver ones, but not the gold. So this was a little bit more rare that I could find online. Okay, the next thing. Um, this is a, oh gosh, uh, what is it called? It's, it's a reconstituted, um, turquoise with quartzite in it. And I think it's like a, just a green quartzite. And, um, the size is, it's in stainless steel. It is a size 10, but this is great for your thumb, your um, index finger, which I kind of like it there. So it's a turquoise color with the host in it, but it has a little bit of quartzite in it. If you could see the green, isn't that pretty? And it's stainless steel embossing on the side. This one's going to be $12 if anyone's interested. So that's with the light, and that's with the natural light. And it's like a, kind of like a little pyramid shape. I can't remember what that shape is called when it's smaller at the top and the base is larger. But it's pretty thick. Really thick, as you can see. Isn't that nice? And then that's the back. So it's oxidized stainless steel, as you can see oxidation, the blacking, you know, and I love the embossing on the side. And around the bezel. Thank you. The size is 10 and it's $12 for anyone who is interested. Isn't that pretty? Thank you. Okay, I'm just going to wear it until uh, we'll just keep going. <laughs> then I have... So for any of you who might be interested in the jars, I'm going to, I'm just going to fill one up just to kind of give you guys an idea, all the type of goodies that would be in here. Um... Because I'll be going on an auction soon, and I'm probably going to start the price at a higher price point after that if I have any more left. But I just thought they were so cute for spring and Easter. I just think they're cute. I think the yellow ones are chicks, but I can't remember. And I can go check because I think I have them in a box in my laundry room. <clears throat> Okay, the next thing I have this is a Brazilian smoky quartz um, it is sterling silver size 8 and it's prong set it's a quad split band Okay, thank you. Um, thank you, Kathy. I'm going to take it off then. Isn't that pretty? I like the green quartzite in it. Thank you. Okay. Let me write that down. Kathy, thank you 
so much. Thank you. This is a quad split band, so it's got the embossing. I mean, you could feel it. Excuse me. It's really nicely done. Um, and it's in sterling silver. It is a size 8. It's Brazilian uh, smoky quartz. I'm just going to put it on. So this is with the lighting. And see how you could see the quad split band. That's where the, um, it's prong set. That's where the embossing is. And look at the front. Isn't that pretty? Let me show you in the natural light. Isn't that pretty? And I don't know if you can see the embossing or not. Okay, Brazilian Smoky Quartz is a very nice quality. Oops, I lost my paperwork on it <laughs> just now. But I think it was 2.47 carats. Oh, here it is. I wrote it on the little thing. Um, 2.58 carats, and it's a size 8. And this one is going to be, and this is for today's only, one yellow, one blue. Oh, okay. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you so much. There's a lot of goodies in there. <laughs> um, this one is going to be 25 if anyone is interested. Let me take my copper ring off. And it's 25 and it's Brazilian quartz, smoky quartz in sterling silver. see that it's it's like a smoky brown beautiful and it's $25 for a quartz and sterling that's a very good deal and the setting is really beautiful I have to say it's new Isn't that nice and it's prong set okay all right let me Write that down, Amanda. Okay. Put that there. So, Amanda. Salazar. Okay. And I think I have your info from the benefit auction, so we're good. Thank you so much, Amanda. They're really nice. So, let me write down blue and yellow mason jar goodies <laughs> thank you um okay so next thing let's see here I try to mix it up a little bit let's go back to a couple of these Because I am going to be coming on the decor channel in a little bit again, this channel, but it'll be about decor. All right, these are freshwater pearls. They have an uh, Arroyo Borealis finish to them. The, the, there are smaller ones on top and slightly larger on the bottom. They're like a half a millimeter difference, but it's just enough difference to see. And then um, it has a venturine on top and the bottom. Aren't these pretty? And these are 12, if anyone's interested. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, these are real pretty. I love that green green of it. And it goes so beautiful with that Arroyo Borealis on the potato freshwater pearls. So pretty. Okay. 
Okay. Let's let's show the moonstone again because they are beautiful. So these are called opal moonstones, and then they're paired with um, faceted hematite on the top and the bottom, and then they're two sizes of moonstone. So they're, I think it's eight and then ten millimeter. Hi Daisy, how are you? Did you get your package? I hope you did. <laughs> so this is the moonstone ones. Yeah, I was looking at the. Okay. Um, you could see the fire behind when I put the light on them. And these are moonstone opals. They've got faceted hematite on the top and bottom. Oh, good. I'm glad. <laughs> and they are surgical steel. These are 15, if anyone's interested. Aren't they beautiful? So nice. Ooh. And I believe it's 8 millimeter rounds and then 10 millimeter rounds. So that's pretty good for 15. Okay, then while we're on Moonstone, I have these, which are Aqua Quartzite with Moonstone. And the darker Aqua on top, the lighter Aqua. And then it's a moonstone, lighter aqua, and then the darker. Really beautiful colors paired together. Aren't these beautiful? And these are 12. Wait, are these 12? Yeah, these are 12. So that's with the natural light. And this is with the light. And you can see the fire. The reflection on the back. Isn't that beautiful? They're just so oceany and beautiful. Okay. All right, so I'll stop those for a second. Oh, let me show one more because I love these. Actually, I'm going to buy a pair of these from her. They are really beautiful. These are hand-carved uh, rose quartz and aventurine. And it's the lighter aventurine and then... Yeah, lighter of entry. And these are 15. Thank you. So that's the light right on it, and then that's the natural light. Oh, they're so pretty. I love these. Hi, Gail. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, I love these a lot. How are you? Gail, now that you have your profile picture up, I was like, oh my gosh, that's what you look like. You're so pretty. I had, you know, you always have a picture in your head of what everyone looks like. And then I noticed your picture and I was like, oh my goodness, that's so beautiful. You're so beautiful. <laughs> so 15 on these. Aventurine and uh, rose quartz. And they're hand carved. Okay. Oops. I did show these and I showed that and that. I'm going to put these here. And da -da 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 -da. I did show these. Okay, let me show these. And Gail, I got your email. Thank you. I It's going to be a while before I probably find that corkscrewer. Um, I don't know how long, but I thought I knew where it was, but I, I clearly have to go through my stuff. So it's probably going to be a, a long while. So I'll probably just, um, I think I already sent you the, the invoice, but no, I haven't. But I know I have it. It has, I, I from my memory, it has a laser uh, cut I think it's like a big sequoia tree and then a sunset in the background. It's really pretty. I know, huh? <laughs> Aventurine with quartz. So the so Daisy, you want, let's see. You want the rose quartz and aventurine.
and uh, the moon one. Okay, the solid moonstone with the hematite, right? This one? I think so. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Daisy, so much. Oops. So rose quartz, and guys, I do have multiples of these. I just have to order them from her, my friend. So if anyone else likes them, you can still get them. And Shireen, Shireen, and then um, moonstone, <clears throat> double moonstone. And hematite. Got it. Thank you so much, Daisy. Okay. And what was, what did you guys say? Okay. Should we wait? Um, probably not, Gail, because it's going to take me a while, quite honestly, to go through all my stuff. But I am starting to go through my stuff, and that's what I was going to tell you guys. I am going to be going through my um, staging stuff and everything that's small enough to like ship, you know, like a decor item, I'm going to start selling on here intermittently with the jewelry because um, this I have so much of small wares, you know, like it's all new. It's all new except sometimes I bought vintage things, but um. Yeah, so, but I am going through it. And now that I know what your daughter-in-law likes, I do have these really awesome, um, I think, I don't know what stone they are, but they're, um, what are they called? Uh, coasters, they're new. And then they have wine motif on top. Like one says Zinfandel, and then has the grapes on it. It has a cork bottom underneath. And they're all like really pretty. There's four of them. I have these beautiful new marble cork uh, corks, you know, to put to cork your wine. Uh, I only have two of those. Uh, I mean, I just have a lot of like wine stuff too. I have, you know, decor stuff. So I thought, I think I'll ship anything except for candles because I'm afraid they'll melt uh, coming from California. <laughs> but um, so I'm going to start doing that if they're small enough. Welcome back, Michelle. Let's see, I think you saw the earrings she just showed Michelle. She's doing a replay. Okay, yeah. Yes, thank you, Becky. Oh, thanks, Michelle. Let's see, with green. Oh, what did Anna say? Congrats. Uh, this, this beautiful pink quartz. Oh, okay, yes. Thank you, Anna. Okay... Uh, let's see. Did you sell the red birds you showed during Christmas? Red birds. What were the red birds? I don't remember. Shoot. Remind me, Becky. Um, red birds. Red birds. Were they an ornament? Did I miss any of the moonstones? No. That was it as far as the moonstone for today. Hi, Deb. How are you? Yes, I do have wall hangings. Um, and I can show you a couple. And, I mean, I could ship everything flat rate, you know. Um, and I'll tell you what the pricing would be. But, you know, if it's small enough, then I figure I can do it, right? Um, and just like little tchotchkes and such. So, I'm going to start doing that because I have to... I have to start getting rid of it. And I've been posting things like crazy on Craigslist too because now I have like this accumulation in in my house of things that I have to get rid of for my staging business because I've used them and I can only use them for so long. Um, so, and I'll be selling some farmhouse stuff too. So that's kind of exciting. Um, 
yeah. So I'll get the couple of pictures here in a second. Um, oh, and I have this necklace I'm going to be selling. It's a vintage one, but it's like brand new. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's one of those wood ones. Oh, okay, Becky. I think I have those. See these little parrots? So they're wood, and I guess they can turn either way. Okay, there we go. And they're so cute. So these are like polished wood parrots, and they're wood, you know, you've seen these before, but it's so cute. I love it for spring and summer. So I'm selling this one too if anyone's interested. I just put it on because they went with my colors today. That was the coastal one. So this one, I'll have to... It is vintage, though. You can tell. Where is the... There we go. So it's got the heishi beads of wood that graduate and get larger. And it's like, um, kind of like a sage color. And you have black beads and little parrots. Just to give you an idea. That's so cute. These actually sell for kind of a lot on um, Posh and Etsy and eBay. You'll see them. I'm going to sell this one for 7 if anyone's interested. This lighting is driving me crazy. But it's pretty long. It's all wood. I don't know. I think I cheated the last couple days because I've been working. So I've cheated a little bit. <laughs> I didn't weigh myself purposely because I was afraid to. <laughs> I was like, no, I better not. I'm going to be disappointed. But <laughs> So I, I don't know. I probably gained. It's a long one. So this is nice. I like necklaces too that I can just pop over my head. You know what I mean? And it it's very comfortable. Anyway, so that one's seven, if anyone's interested. Thank you, Francis, for noticing. I appreciate it. It looks like where you were down 20, right? I was down 17, and then I kind of stopped because I gained two, lost two, gained one, lost one. So I think I'm still at 17. And so I'm just going to... I'm just going to wait till tomorrow to weigh myself. Uh, but thank you. Okay, I'm going to show you guys these two. And I do have the matching earrings. I know I love parrots too. We had a cockatiel growing up. His name was Prince Charles, and we called him Charlito. Or, you know, Charlie. And every time we got on the phone, he wanted to squawk. Do -do 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 -do. He always did this little sound. It was like, you know, and he'd have his little crown up and he'd get all crazy. <laughs> and we're like, Charlie, be quiet. Always when we got on the phone or if we turned the faucets on, he would go nutso. He would start go, and he would try to get in the faucet. You know, he was so cute. I loved him. Okay, so I have two things to show you, and I have two more things to show you, probably at my next sale, but um, she was just making them, so I didn't have time to, you know, pick them up, but this one, this is blue, blue center agate. Okay, and it's the hand carved stones and the slice that you see. And then it's on silver plated chain that's brand new. And I think this one's a twist chain. Yeah, it's a twist chain with an extender. It's all new. I'm going to get up close. Now, if you want earrings, she said she can make them. And it'll only be $5 more, which is a great deal. Um... Oh, thank you. I think I think during the daytime, and I have a light right in front of me, but I think during the daytime, it's I can you could see more, you know. So I am gonna try to come on more often during the day. 
So this is the necklace. It's so pretty. This is all silver plated. It does have an extender. These are all uh, blue center agate. So I'm going to get close to show you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. So you can see the lighting. It's got like crackles. That's how the agate is. There's different variations and colors of it. And then that's the slice, which is pretty thick. Really pretty. So she said if you want the earrings with it, it will be 30. If you want just the necklace, it's going to be 25. So 25, it's brand new. It's on silver plated uh, necklace. And it's really a beautiful statement piece. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Gosh. I feel so special. <laughs> Look at that, those dreamy colors. I wish you could really see, oh, let me get close, the intricacy of the beads and the slice. So originally I thought she said $30, for, $30 for the necklace, but it's 30 with the earrings if you want them, and they would just be simple beads. Um, if you want just the necklace, it's 25. And she actually is Native American. Um, her name is Giselle, but she doesn't want me to say her last name, which I can understand. She's kind of shy. <laughs> and, you know, I am too. I know no one believes that, but I am. Okay, so that's that one. And she's working on a coral one. Look how, pr oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I love those colors. That aqua. Okay, the next one, she did make the earrings for it. And the earrings are just beautiful. But I'm going to show you all of it at once. Also, silver plated, the chain is a little different. Um, has an extender also. It's the Chinese Marble Stone and Aventurine. Ooh, look at that color combination. It's so beautiful. And these are big chunks of the Marble Stone. The chain is really nice. These are the earrings. The earrings are um, silver plated hooks. Uh, shepherd's hooks. So you can see they're pretty substantial and that the set is um, 30. So if you wanted the, the agate one, same thing. The little hooks would be silver plated, she said, because this is silver plated. So this has an extender. Isn't that pretty? I love the venturine. And I know I showed you guys this last time, but I just want to show you because next time I'll be showing the coral one that she has. She was just working on it, though. Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, thank you, Francis. I'm trying. Okay, thank you, Pam. Hope to see you back. So these are the earrings. The lighting is just really, there we go. They look like those stones that they um, stack, you know. <laughs> and then this is the necklace. Okay, so the set is also 30. So that's a lot of aventurine. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna, I actually have to use the restroom really quick, you guys, I'm sorry. And then I'll show you um, some of the decor, okay? And <clears throat> I'll try to grab the yellow jar if I can grab that really quick too. Because it is in my laundry room, in my shelving area, in a box. But it's like right, like I know exactly where it is. So I want to grab it so you can see it. So let me go do that. 
Um, let's see, which way should I go? Because I had my laptop plugged into my router. Let me go this way. Oh, my flip-flops are stuck. <laughs> I've got flip-flops and capris on. I'll be right back, guys. Let me go um, use the restroom, and I'll grab some small um, decor real quick. So now we're kind of, we'll be doing some decor, and I'll go back to jewelry. Oh, okay. Let's see, let me move this back. Take that out. There we go. Okay. All right. Sorry. I found it though. Ooh. Okay. My face is itchy from allergies. Okay, so here are the. I don't know if Amanda's still here. Here's the yellow. It's also a bunny. Oh, this one's so cute. And they're new. So, a blue. An aqua or blue and yellow for Amanda and they'll be full okay all right so I have some of the artwork here pardon me for the chair so this is just randomly I'm just picking stuff really quick Let's see which way does it go 
So this is like a, I think this is a lotus. Is this a lotus flower or is that a, um, a mum? I'm not sure because the leaf is throwing me off. But, and it's in a whitewash wood. So it's like aquas and blues and crackle cream. And then that's the finish on the wood. So it's like a shadow box frame. So something like that. Um, this one's brand new. It's a canvas that has like the glaze on it. Um, it's kind of a nautical theme. And it's like one of the, actually it's not nautical. Is it? It is. It's one of the plants in the, either around the ocean or under the ocean. But I think this is on the beach because then they have like a mollusk and some I can't remember those shells but they're all numbered it's so cool so it's like navy and creams and it's like aged on the side it's brand new it still has the corners on them um and it's still you can hang it whatever way it's a shadow box wood there's that one it's, pr it's pretty that one's really pretty so the other one is like you know, if you have maybe a teenage daughter or something, and they like different colors. Okay, this one is cute. This is like a, kind of like a, I don't know what you would call it. It's not really farmhouse. But it says, self-serve laundry, open 24 hours. Um... It's pretty cute. This one I love. I have a large print of it in a slightly different version. Sorry, you guys, I keep trying to see the. How much on which one? The. The laundry one? That one's going to be five. This one, the nautical one, is going to be six. It's bigger. This one will be five. The lotus one with the whitewash wood. This one, oh, I love this one. I think if no one buys it, I'll keep it. <laughs> okay, thank you, Francis. Thank you, I'll write it down. Um, so it has like a little bit of, I think, French writing script in the background, it's kind of faint. And then you have, it looks like magnolias, sort of. And then this cute little finch. No, it's not magnolias. Well, maybe, because those are blossoms. I don't know. This one's bigger. It's a canvas. Um, it says, what does it say? Designed in USA. It doesn't give a size. But it is a canvas. And that one's going to be 10 because I paid a lot for that one. And it's a real, they're all real canvases. Okay. Um, okay, I'll write it down in a second. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't have time to dust. This one, I don't know if Gail is still here. I have a lot of wine motif. I should just put a package together for Gail, because, uh, for her daughter-in-law. All right, so just take into consideration, I did not dust this or clean the glass yet. But it's a shadow box, um, one, and it says wine tasting. So, it's, you can see... It's glass, and it has the inside, so it's like a shadow box. Um, yeah. And nice frame. This one's going to be 10. I don't know if you could see the shadow box effect there. Okay.
Alrighty. Then, now these were from the dollar store. These are like any coffee ones, Lori? Oh, I do, for, um, Daisy. Let me grab them. Okay, hold on one second. Oh, let me write down Francis, too. Oop, Francis. I think because there is some dust on these. It makes me sneeze and itch. Laundry sign five. Thank you. And now these were from the dollar store. So they were just a dollar, but they are frames and they were hard to find. One says BU and then the other one says Imagine. Oh, they're um, actual framed little canvases. They look like wood. I just don't have room for everything, guys. Okay, so I'm going to sell them together. Two dollars, because that's what I paid. Okay. Let me grab the copy ones. Hold on, I gotta get this dust off my fingers. I feel like I got dust on me. Okay. You want these, Francis? Thank you. Okay, so these are Francis. And this one's Francis. Got it. Thank you. Thanks so much. Oof. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so let me write down Francis, and then I'll go get the copy ones. Um, imagine, imagine, and be you signs two. Thank you. Uh, hey Jennifer. Wait a minute. Am I? I thought you were on right now. Or did I get the time wrong? I thought it said six. Well, I'm glad I'm not running into your time, but. Hold on one, guys. Hold on one sec. I'm going to get the copy things.
Okay. Maybe I should put that chair over here. Oh well. Okay, let's see what are you guys saying. Kitty outside wants to come in. Oh, where is she? That little Malta girl? <laughs> Um, let's see, I was wondering what was moving in the backyard. <laughs> uh, no, at nine. Okay, so maybe I had it in my head that it was six my time. Thank you. Okay, good. All right, so as far as coffee, oh, did I not bring it? What did I do with it? Oh, I left it. Yeah, I left it. Hold on. Alrighty. So Daisy, this one is, it's heavy, so it'll definitely have to go flat rate. Um, it's um, metal. And I love this saying. Hey, Martha. <laughs> so it's, um, now you could paint this if you wanted, and I thought about doing that. Um, I use this in a model home. And then I was, I had it up for a little bit because I, I, I did like it. I still like it, but I've got too much stuff. Um, so it's a nice heavy metal, like a bronze. And then it has like this green, like paper, like a picture. And then it has, first I drink coffee on it. And this one is 10 if you're interested. But I'll, I'll ship it flat rate, so, you know. So let me get close so you know, can see the actual color. And it's a real pretty thick bronze frame. This is the back. It's pretty, it's all metal. So it's like a sage green, I guess. And it has like little coffee beans right here. <laughs> That's really nice. Love the frame. Thank you. Okay, so I don't know if uh, you could see the metal. Let me get down in here. It's really pretty. It's kind of that antique looking bronze, I guess. Okay, so if Daisy, if you want it, let me know. Or if you don't want it, just say pass. And if anyone else wants it after Daisy, um, let me know. It's like, this is a decal that was put on here. First, I drink coffee. And then it has coffee beans. And it's 10. It's heavy. It's a nice metal. Okay. Let me know. Okay, next one. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, a little dusty, you guys, because it's been in my pantry. This is like a cooking sheet one. Pass, okay. Right? Did you say pass? Let's see, pass, the colors don't match. Okay, thank you for letting me know. This one is like a little farmhouse one. This one I made, it's like a cookie sheet, and it's got the rope. And it's got little country farm scene here with geese and chicken and chicks. And then a horse with the farm in the background. This one's $3 if anyone's interested. And that's just the cost for what went into me making it. And it's a cookie sheet. But it's really cute hanging up. Okay. So there's that one. So if anyone else wanted that. But first, coffee. Let me know. It's heavy metal. 
<laughs> get it? Heavy metal. Bronze. Um, and it says, first I drink coffee. And that one's 10. This one's three. The one with the handles, the rope handles. With the horses and the geese and the farm scene. This one... Okay, so I have some decals here. Um, this one says, Pray More, Worry Less. And it's a adhesive wall plaque decal. And this is so... I love these colors, especially for spring. <laughs> Heavy metal! <laughs> um, and these are pretty easy to put on. Actually, this one says, pray more, worry less, and it's kind of like that corally pink. Um, that's just the advertisement here, but that's what it looks like. This is what it looks like here, but the size of it is this size here that you see, and it's a 12 by 12 decal. And this one's going to be... $4 if anyone's interested. It's brand new. And this is what it looks like. Or here. This is what it looks like. But it's a 12 by 12. Next one is another decal. Oh, these are all dusty on the outside because... I do have more coffee stuff too, um, Daisy. I just, I have to dig it out because it's in my staging stuff. But I'm starting to go through it, so that's good. I mean, I'm like, and let me know what your colors are. Browns, creams, whatever. This one says, it's a doorway decal that goes like above your door. And it says, bless this home and all who enter. And... I think I have two. I do have two. So, um, it's brand new. Um, this one's going to be $3 if anyone's interested. And it, I like these. I don't know why I didn't put it up, but I, I think I'm going to repaint in like the summertime and I don't want to put anything up, but Anyways, it goes above your door and says, bless this home and all who enter. And that one's three. I have two of those. Um, okay. This one is also, so these are repositionable too. Gray, black, and white. Ooh, that sounds pretty. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Um, this one says, Home is where the heart is. It's a decal. And then you have two extra little flowers that you can place randomly. And you can reposition them. It's a 13 and a half by 10 and a half. So this is what it looks like. Ooh, where are we at? There we go. That one's going to be four. This one says home sweet home. This is more of like a tropical scene um, wall plaque. And it's a 12 by 12. This will be four. And this is what it looks like right here. Kind of a tropical scene. Um, this one's actually from the dollar store. I didn't even open it up, but it's a bird's cage. It's pretty big. It has a bunch of extra flowers. So this is what it looks like. Isn't that cute? Okay, um, you want this one, Kathy? Home Sweet Home? The tropical one? Okay. Thank you. Oh. 
Let me write that down. Kathy. Home. Sweet home. Tropical. Decal. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much. Hi, Mama. How are you? I'm just selling some decor here after my jewelry. <laughs> um, this one was from the dollar store. I think they still sell it, but if anyone has a hard time finding dollar store stuff, um, it's a big wall decal, and it's just a bird. So that one will be a dollar. But this is what it looks like. I really love this one, but I don't want to put anything up until I repaint. But it just says the bless all that who enter. Bless this home and all who enter. It goes above the door. That one's three. Okay. Becky, are you still here? Hi, Judy. Okay. So, Becky, I think these are the ones. I don't know if she's still here, but these are the ones that you were interested in. They were from Target. And they're wood framed linen. Oops. And this one's a canvas one with holly berry. Um, and then I think that's supposed to be a cardinal, the female. Or, I don't know if it's a male, but it's the same print on this one in plaid. And they all, both have the wood frame. This is more of a shadow box. And this is like the canvas inside. And then that's the um, same print, but on the glass. So, I don't, I don't think she's here anymore. But, Becky, if you're listening, um, the set, I think these are the ones that she was talking about. This is 15, and these are from Target. So I'll let Becky, because she asked about these, come back and let me know if she wants those. <clears throat> Thank you. So this one says, let's stay home. Thank you. The vintage car carriage house. <laughs> um, welcome. This is let's stay home. And it's brand new. I, this one I got in a store in California, but I don't remember where. Anyways, it's a shadow box. And um, so it's like writing on the glass. And then it's a whitewash wood in the back. And then like a lighter wood or more of a natural wood frame. Um, I would do this one for $5.00. If anyone's interested. And you can kind of see that it's a shadow box, I hope. So this sounds like plexi plexiglass, just to let you know. Okay. This one I got, I can't believe like, um, a lot of the... My dollar store happened to carry, like, a lot of the stuff you couldn't find, I guess, a lot of um, across the U.S. And so when I was doing hauls, they were like, oh, I couldn't find that, I couldn't find that. But anyway, so I'm just selling it for what I paid. And actually, I'm getting less for it because if you pay me through PayPal, I have a fee taken out. But um, it's the rooster, and it's like um, kind of like a shadow box. So this one's a dollar. If anyone's interested and guys I'm gonna send everything flat rate or you know as cheaply as I can so just so you know and I package everything really well I always find the cheapest route possible but it says welcome and it has like all these different signs that say welcome in the background and it's a pretty rooster
Okay, so let me see here. Looks like on my screen, Doris came first. Um, but Mama, I might have another one, so let me let me look, okay? And I'll, I'll go back and check in a sec. So, and remember, Doris, I'll call you after we're done so I can figure out how um, we can get your, your invoice to you. <laughs> okay, so let me write Doris Kelly. Rooster. Um, framed print. Print. Thank you. Okay, this next one. Oh, it's dusty. Let me. I don't remember if I got this one. I don't. I think I did get this one at the dollar store, but it was hard to find too. Sorry, you guys. I'm just trying to read everything. Um. Cardinal on plaid. Okay, sure. Yes. Okay, so this one is from the dollar store. It has glass, so I'm going to have to package this one really well because their glass is very thin, um, but if it cracks, the other thing is I put up my Dollar Tree prints without the glass a lot of times. My dad's good. Um, he's finally, his cough is finally dissipating. Thank God. Thank you for asking. And, um, like I'm not coughing anymore. I, it's just a cough here and there, but gosh, that took forever. I was so irritated and no, he's doing good. He's doing good. Actually. Thank you so much. Good. I so happy that he's doing good. This one I got at a store in California, but I don't, or was this one from Nevada? This may have been from Nevada. I can't remember, but it's a thick, like, um, I don't know, what do you call that board? You know what I mean? That kind of thick board? Um, I can't remember what store it was from, but I thought they'd be cute together. So these together would be $4, because this one costs more, um, but I thought that'd be cute together. Okay. All right, did I show you guys? I know, I, I'm trying to come back on early because I used to come on a year and a half ago on this channel around noon selling jewelry. And I hate coming on late, honestly. So <laughs> that's why I'm like, oh my God, I've got to come back on early again. So I've got those, and guys, I have so much like um, wine motif stuff, and whew, you name it. Oh, let me show you this martini set. It comes in a travel set. Let me think. Do I want to sell that? Maybe not. I don't use it, but I have a little attachment to it because my mom collected dice, and it has dice on it. And then my sister did give it to me. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't do that one. Okay, let's see what else do I have that it's like readily available to show you guys. Let me go check on the rooster. Let me check on the rooster and Becky. I think Becky has gone. So um, I'll, I'll text her really quick. Let me see. Where's, oh, I can't because I'm on my phone. Can someone text her or we can ask her or ask her to come on? And then, real quick, guys, these are new Food Safe Mason jars. I'm, I only have a few of these, yellow and then the aqua. And they have the little cut out the bunny. Now, I'm not going to put the makeup in here, the lip gloss and the nail polish that I've been putting in my holiday stuff. It's just going to be fashion jewelry. And, um, but you can, and everything that I put in here will be in baggies. You know how I do it in baggies. So when you take the jewelry out, you can maybe give these to your kids and put jelly beans and chocolate bunnies or whatever in there. And these are be filled to the rim for $15 of fashion jewelry. And you guys know I don't put anything that has wear in it. There's probably going to be some new items in here or look brand new. Um, but they're going to be 15 
and I have just a few of these and so far so I sold one set of these um I think I have six more well I'll have to double check but anyway so let me know if you would like those they're brand new mason jars so that's going to be my holiday stuff I'm not going to do anything else I don't think Lori what do you call fake <laughs> macaroni am I and 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 um, <laughs> it's even hard to say and impasta <laughs> that's funny those jars are adorable thank you okay let me go grab the rooster item hold on be right back Another one. I didn't find another rooster, Mama, but I will be on the lookout for one at my local Dollar Tree and see if they have it. I love roosters too. See my roosters up there? <laughs> okay, what were you guys saying? Um, Oh, hey guys, it was wonderful to join you for a short time. Kids are here now. Time for supper. Okay, thank you for joining Vintage Carriage House. I love that name. I will find another one. And I do have another, I have several coffee signs, but I've got to find them too. Um, Daisy. Believe me, there's, I have no shortage of decor. <laughs> okay, let's see. Did Becky ever come back in? All right, so this one is, um, how much was this originally? $12.99, $16.99 to Canada. Um, it's like a little hanging plaque. And I guess you could paint it if you didn't like the colors. But it's like 
kind of like an antiqued mustard color. And it has an R. It looks like an old doorknob with like a skeleton key. Yeah. And it, so anyone who has the first name of R, last name of R could use it. You could hang necklaces off of this. Wouldn't that be cute? I know the lighting is so terrible. It's actually really pretty colors. It's like um, the actual metal part of the doorknob is like that soft, soft Kind of like a chartreuse mustard color and then it has like a aqua and yellow background yeah isn't that cute this one's four dollars if anyone's interested it's brand new i never used it okay the other thing that's kind of a coastal item, this is pretty cool. It's one of these big, um, what are they called? Uh, laundry clips, clothesline clips. And it has um, a little starfish on it. So it's like a, it's wood. So this was from Aaron Brothers. It's like a framing shop here. It's kind of a pricey framing shop. But it's like a very pale blue wash, white wash finish. And then it has um, a little starfish on it. So this would be cute on the desk for like a paperweight, you know, or something. I love Coastal. And this one's $4 if anyone's interested. It's very heavy. It's like a nice substantial piece. Okay. This one, oh my gosh, it says dust on it. Hold on. Let me, uh, I'm wiping it on my capris, but I'll have to wash them. This one, oh, this has a crack in it already, so I don't want to sell it. But this is what it looked like. It's got the glass. You know, I always say just get rid of the glass and then just keep it in the frame. But so, all right. Um, I do have a ton of wine motif stuff, but like I said, I mean, if I show you, start showing you guys like my actual decor. And if you live near me and you want to come by and buy stuff, or if you want me to ship it to, I can do that. But let me give you an idea of some of the stuff, just to give you an idea. Question, Lori. I have heard the final results from Cricket's Benefit. Is that information public? I don't think so. You mean like how much was made? No. I don't think it's supposed to be. But, so I'm not sure where you heard it from, but I don't think it's supposed to be. So, yeah. Ho hold on. Let me grab some stuff and I'll just give you guys an idea. Oh, la, la. I know, I didn't think they would tell anyone either. Let's see here. Um, I'm just curious how much he, they donated. Yes, and um, she knows you donated privately. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that. I don't think they told anyone or they weren't supposed to tell anyone because it's kind of a private issue, you know? 
And why it's a private issue is because here's the thing, you know, Cricket doesn't have a car, so if she has to source her jewelry, she's obviously going to buy in the community. And sometimes I think people, you know, they see people buying, and she doesn't buy that much, but she does have to buy to resell, right? And they take it the wrong way, but, you know, she doesn't have a car. She can't drive because of her seizures, so she does have to source online. So if you see her buying, that's why. But also I think um, why they don't tell people the amount is because um, it would make others feel, I don't know, funny maybe, negatively, probably. So that's probably why. So that's why, like, I never, I'm not even sure ex the exact amount to be honest, but I wouldn't say anything just because of that reason. So I have three of these. These are like cookie jars. They're ceramic, or they're actually earthenware. Um, not earthenware, but they're like a fire glaze. They're really pretty cool. I have three of these. Now they were made for, I think to put scents in them maybe, like a scents, you know? But actually you could use them, they are fire glaze. Um, for like cookie jars or maybe like, um, you know, like a vase. But there's three of them. It's stuff like this, you guys, that I have. And these are brand new. All brand new. Isn't that nice? And it's that uh, fire glaze. I don't know if you can see it. But it's really pretty texture. Real pretty. It's stuff like that. So for larger things, I have end tables, mirrors, you name it. So, guys, if you're interested, I if you live close to me, let me know. Or if you want me to send you a pallet. <laughs> I think I need to let my dog out. Hold on, guys. Let me let her out. Come here, Lucky. Lucky. Come on. Let's go. You ready to go potty? Okay, go come to the doggy gate. Hello. No, no, no. This way. One more thing real quick. This is a, what do you call it? A, um, I guess it's a tea light holder. Yeah, it's a tea light holder, but it's ceramic. Uh, let's see. I don't think they say. Hey, Vanessa. How are you? So, Judy, it's a canister set. So, I guess that's the correct word, <laughs> canister set. Um, and there's three of them. They're really pretty. They look beautiful on, like, regular tile countertops. Or I put them on quartzite countertops. I put them on granite countertops. They're really pretty. I've used them a lot for, like, model homes and everything because I staged. I do home staging. I know, um, Vanessa. Vanessa, if you come visit me, then um, I want to go to that restaurant. What's it called? Um, you know the one where they have like down home, down home cooking, crackle, cracker, cracker barrel. Yeah, I want to go there. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, thank you, Vanessa. Do you have my info? No. Um, let's see. If you can email me, um, my email is Creative Lori. I wish I, where did I put my laptop? Let me grab my laptop and I'll plug it in. Or if someone can plug it in for me, it's Creative Lori at gmail.com. Or I'm sorry, Creative Lori 2 at gmail.com. Okay, 
Boy, I made a mess, huh? In <laughs> my own house. Okay. Oh, and if anyone would like this little tea light ceramic. Oh, thank you, Francis. Yeah, creative Lori, all lowercase, two, at gmail.com. And this is like um, a tea light holder, so the light comes out on his belly and the top. And you put the tea light back here. And this one's three. Okay, I guess I don't need my laptop on. Thank you. <sighs> yeah, I know it's almost like you have to force yourself to do stuff, you know. How much is the canister set? Okay, so um, I have three of them. So I'm going to say for all three, uh, $20, and they're brand new. They've just been sitting in homes, you know, when I do staging. Hold on, guys. i got to let her back in. <laughs> She's... Girl, you are so freaky. You know that? Come, come here. Don't go over there. Thank you very much. Kids. Okay, I've got some books to show you, brand new ones. They are, um, what are they called? They are craft ones. Thank you. Okay, this one is brand new. It's by Lowe's. Um, creative Ideas for Kids Spaces. It is brand new. Uh, it was originally nineteen ninety five. Their books are kind of pricey, aren't they? Um, and it's pretty cool, actually. Really nice pictures in here. Really good, like nice book. I'm gonna sell this one for three dollars. If anyone's interested, it's a nice book. It was originally nineteen ninety five. I never used it. I originally got it for my nephew, but now he's 10, so I think we're past that point with him because he's on to, like, other things, you know, drones and such. He's such an advanced little guy. Then the next book I have, which is really nice, Cracker Barrel. Yeah, I want to go to Cracker Barrel, Vanessa. Um, maybe we'll take my dad there too, because I know he'll love it. <laughs> this is another good one. This is for kids. Um, it's by, um, it says, who is it by? Amy Herring, Holiday Crafting and Baking with Kids. This one, um, it's for kids, obviously, by Jessica Strand. Oh, okay, it's by Jessica Strand, and the photographs are by Amy it says, gifts, sweets, and treats for the whole family. And it's really good, like, photography in here. Really cute. This one's very nice, too. But it's all holiday stuff. Um, it, they even have Hanukkah in here, which is nice. I think, I'm not sure if Kwanzaa's in here. I think it is, though. But, yeah, there's Hanukkah. And, oh, that one's cute. I love doing these. It's just a cute book. A brand new, really good um, pictures. They do templates in here. Anyways, this one's $4 if anyone's interested. It was originally $19.95 on, I can't read what that says. But it's actually a really cool book. Very nice. Brand new. And once again, my nephew. Probably a little too old for that. So. Okay, thank you, Michelle. The holiday one, right? Okay. Um, holiday. Kids book. Thank you. Let's see. Back into there. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, gosh, I have so much more stuff, you guys. It's almost exhausting, cause everything that I have. But almost everything is brand new. It's just been sitting in, um, you know, houses. And then I bring it back after I've used it so many times because I can't continue to use it. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. I, I have a lot of, lot of cocktail stuff, motif, you know, like just um, to put on a cocktail bar. So if you guys are interested in that, I have a lot of that stuff too. Um, I'm just trying to look here. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, okay. Well, let's, let me get a little bit back into jewelry and then we'll go back into some more decor here in a second. But, um, I'm afraid I'm going to knock this little owl over. So he's got like little aqua eyes too. He's pretty cute. I'm gonna put him up here. Any native? Any? Yes, I do actually, Martha. Um, actually, there's one right here. <clears throat> Were you here, Martha, when I showed my native dolls? Those those two dolls, the porcelain ones. Um, <laughs> Vanessa, you know how much that would cost? That would be too expensive. And let me think. I do have two ottomans, but they are banana leaves that are braided, you know, that banana leaf that's braided. It's a real natural color, like cream beige. And they're storage ones. So I have a one big one. It's an ottoman and then a smaller matching one. And I'm selling them. I love them, but I know my cats would destroy them. So I have them wrapped up right now with shrink wrap because I know they'll get to them. Um, but yeah, they're very nice and they're lined on the inside. They're very heavy and sturdy. So if you drive out here, you can drive back because I don't think you want to pay shipping on those. <laughs> they're just heavy, real heavy. Um. <laughs> I'll stick a cat in there for you, too, so you have a kitty. <laughs> so, Martha, I don't know if you saw my dolls, but I might show those um, when I do um, the other auction. Uh, but, okay. I have this one. And this is, um, it's got the mat in it. I need to clean it. Sorry, I didn't clean it. It's got a little dust on it. It's a nice frame, metal frame. Um, it was professionally done. It was, my dad got it in Nevada. So it was a, um, you know, frame shop. Um, it is a popular, um, print, but I don't remember what this one was called, but it's like woman with chilies and it's got the, um, mountain range in the background. And then she's holding the basket, woven basket of chilies. And this is like a brownish maroon almost and then this is ouch this is the back woman with chilies <laughs> see you can kind of still see where it says Nevada up there see she's got chilies a woman after my own heart because you know how much I love chili peppers. Chili peppers, yeah. Um, in fact, my dad brought over some more peppers for me. <laughs> he got me wax peppers. I asked for more jalapenos, fresh ones, but they were out, so he got me wax peppers. Anyways. Oh, yes, let's ask Becky. All right, so if anyone's interested in this one, this one sells on eBay um, for quite a bit, but this one's professionally framed. Um, I'm going to say... I'm going to say 
15 on this one. If anyone's there. Hey, shh, shh, shh. Come here, come here. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Brian walked in, so of course the puppy has to bark at him. No baby. No baby Cito. No baby. No baby Cito. It's okay, baby. It's okay. You're okay. You're okay, baby, baby. Baby, baby. Okay, just sit with me. You're fine. You're fine. Okay, so. <laughs> Uh, yes, Becky, so we're waiting to see if you would like them. They are the ones from Target. I think they're the red birds you were talking about. And they were new from Target. Um, as soon as Brian leaves, I'll show you them because I, I don't want to put the puppy down because he'll start barking again. I was wondering why you bought potatoes. Take them to your mom's. What? Just... <laughs> okay. So, get down. <laughs> you okay? See, he almost fell over the darn gate, too. That's how I fell. All right. Let's go. Sorry, Brian. Okay, so there's this one that's um, wood uh, frame with the canvas with the cardinal and the holly berry from Target. And they're new. And then there's this one. It's the same print, like a shadow box, and it has the same bird on it with the wood. So I said both for 15 if you're interested. And if you want one versus the other, then we'll do we'll just do 750 split it if you want one and not both or something so let me know so that's one this is the other one okay let's see oh, is she still here okay and also Becky I have this little door thing I don't know if you saw this I think you did for like hanging your um, necklaces or whatever it has an R on it. Okay, so Frances, she doesn't want them, so you wanted the plaid one, right? Okay, so Frances. Target, right? Let me make sure she said yes. Target, cardinal, framed, plaid framed. Okay. Francis, you wanted that, right? Huh? 
How much is the doorknob? The doorknob is new. It was originally $12.99. Uh, I think this was Hobby Lobby. Anyways, um, it's $4 if you're interested. It's like metal. You could paint it if you wanted, but um, it has an R. You can hang your necklaces. So it's like a little skeleton key. And it's got aqua, yellows. It's really cute. Okay, thank you. So that's Becky's. So Becky. Four. See, Brian almost fell over the gate too, like how I fell. It's dangerous because you don't lift your second foot over high enough and you can fall. That's why I removed that table there. Um, let's see. R... Skeleton key doorknob, I'm going to call it. Thank you so much. Uh, it's going to be perfect in my Alice in Wonderland kitchen. Ooh, how cute. That sounds cute. Okay, let's see. I guess maybe we should go back into some jewelry. Um, perhaps? Yes, no, maybe? Okay, these little Howlite Turtles and Mother of Pearl, they're in like a peachy color and cream oatmeal color. Um, these are six, if anyone's interested. They're Howlite. There we go. And they're very cute. Perfect for spring. Oh, how cool. That'll be fun. Let's see. Ooh, I have a cute little polka dot um, mug. It's like a mug. You want to see it? I'll show it to you. Um, okay. Oops. So then I have, let's see... Oh, I have um, this fossil bracelet. This fossil bracelet, okay, is um, is actually, it's brand new. And the ones that I saw, guys, this is kind of a crazy thing. The ones that I saw, there are only three. One was selling from Singapore, one was selling from Italy, and one was selling from the UK. So if you're a reseller and you want to resell it, it's going to get taken up really quickly because um, no one from the U.S. is selling one that's available. Um, it's by Fossil. It's leather and has a stainless steel heart. It's a um, pulley bracelet. Um, it's forty-four. Excuse me, forty-four dollars on eBay. And the one from Singapore is and Italy, or one of the two. I think it was Singapore was seventy-two. And the one. The one from Singapore or Italy wasn't even brand new, but this one still has a tag on it. And the ones that were 44 it was not brand new. So, and you have to get it across the seas. So, this would be great if you wanted to resell it. It says fossil. Um, it's stainless steel with all the little, and this one's different. This one has more of the charms. I did look it up. Oh, I, wait a minute. No, it was the exact same one. Sorry. And it's got the brown leather and little tips. It's like a pulley. So you just tighten it with the pulley here. It has like a little stone in it. And it says fossil on the back. And I'm going to sell this one. Um, so I think this one would sell for more in the U.S. because no one has it in the U.S. So it might seem like I'm asking a lot, but you can resell it for a lot more too, probably for 70 in the U.S. I'm going to ask for 30 on this one. I know it sounds crazy, but you'll be the only one reselling it in the U.S. Hi, Teresa. 
You want to see the jewelry? Okay. All right, let me, um, we'll continue with jewelry. Let me grab one thing I'm going to show Becky, and then we'll get back into the jewelry. So just think about it. You guys can look that one up, too, if you like. Um, let me grab that. Where did I put it? Oh, I know where it's at. Okay, hold on one second, guys. Oh, poor Brian, he really did fall. <laughs> Okay, I think I got this one at Home Goods or Pier One or one of those Cost Plus, one of those places. Hi, Patsy. How are you? So it's actually a red. I know the kind of looks like mini, doesn't it? <laughs> With the white polka dots, and it has like little handles on the edges here. So this one is called Creative Co-op. It's microwavable, dishwasher, and oven safe. So I paid a little bit more for this one. So I'm going to sell this one for four if you are interested. But it's actually kind of looks like mini, doesn't it? The polka dots. And it's a red. And the sticky stuff was from the tag that I took off because I used it in staging. That's it. I never used it. Used it. Okay. Let me see here. All right. So we'll get back into some jewelry. I need some lip gloss because my lips are dry. Oh my goodness. Where's my? Here we go. Okay, thank you, Becky. So let me write that down. Becky, I'm just going to put um, mini <laughs> polka dot um, bowl, I guess. Yeah, that's what I'll call it. Thank you. Hi, Chef Dalian. <laughs> okay, so let's go into some of the jewelry again. Uh, ah, sorry, you guys. My lips get really dry. I do. What do you guys want to see first? Uh, the real stones? Do you want to see fashion jewelry? I'm going to show, I'll continue to show some fashion. Um, these are brand new, they are little owls. They are ceramic, uh, made by my friend. They have he, she wood beads on here and some seed beads that are clear. They're in that Mexican pottery, that royal blue. Gosh, this light is like really in my face, huh? <laughs> Makes me look so shiny. <laughs> um, and they're so cute. This is her last pair that she has. They are $5. They're little chubby owls. They're ceramic. They're very light because they're hollow. And let me show you the back. They've got little feathers. And these are five. That's the lighting, natural light. Okay. Then, um, do you guys want to 
want to see some pearl ones? Okay, these are green aventurine and natural freshwater pearls, potato pearls. I'll show these again. And these are 12. So that's the light. It's kind of hard to tell with the lighting, but. So they're like Arroyo Borealis, freshwater pearls. Oh, there we go. There, oop. Wait, how did I do that? There we go. Okay. Let's see. Uh, na, 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 na. Native. Oh, let me show you some native ones too. Okay, you guys are all saying hi to each other. It's nice. Okay. I do have, let's see. oh, I want to show you guys these. So the reason why I'm showing you guys some of my decor stuff is because I am going through it and getting rid of it, but also because um, I had a, a huge response to when I showed that cork, um, un, you know, cork popper. Um, and they asked for more stuff and I said, okay, so that's why I'm showing you guys some of my decor stuff, but I also am trying to, uh, declutter cause I have to get rid of it all. I have too much and I have to sell it at a certain point. So these are native colors. These are made by my friend who is also native, uh, native American that is not native to California. Well, she is native to California too. <laughs> and, um, they are red coral, um, howlite and, Black Jasper, and these are five dollars. Let me see if I can do what I did. There we go. So she really picks the right stones to fit together, so it's kind of nice. And those are five. And she she does them differently too, where the red curls on top, I'll show you, and then it goes blue, then black. Okay, so there's those. And then these, I love these. These are turquoise and amethyst. And they're uh, the young Buddha. And these are eight, but they're turquoise and amethyst on the top and the bottom. Oh, you don't wear danglies. Okay, no dangles. Okay, so well, let me, I have my silver stuff here too. Okay. I'm glad I pulled it, my silver stuff. Where did I put it? Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh. Hey, Mama. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Mary. Okay, these are um, Native American because this is from, uh, I believe these are Tasco earrings. Let me, I don't think they're marked Tasco, but I can tell that they are. <laughs> they really look it. So let me show you. They are sterling silver, they are vintage, and they are red turquoise. And they are sterling, and they're beautiful. They're post. Aren't they pretty? And they're all inlaid. Sorry, my lighting is terrible. Red turquoise, which is a little more rare than the blue and, and the white. Which is funny about the white, white buffalo. It was considered, um, no one wanted it back in the day, but now it's so popular. Isn't that funny? 
And these are 25, Mama, if you're interested. So that's with the light. And this is the natural light. They are post. And they're very nice. Hi, Dawn. Okay, everyone's saying hello. Okay. So 25, Mama, if you're interested. And if Mama's not interested, um, if anyone else is interested after Mama. And it's red turquoise. They're beautiful. Okay. These are copper, um, I showed these before, but I'm going to show them again. And um, they're copper shield dream catchers. They're new. I don't think they were ever worn. They have no wear on them. They're really nice. Sorry, the light's like right in my face. <laughs> Shows every wrinkle. Okay. Um, and then I have these copper ones. Like I said, they're like a shield and, but these are dangles. They're posts, but they have a little dangle to them. These are 15, but they're copper. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad, Patty, that you liked it. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. So copper with some oxidation there, and then the hanging um, feathers. These are 15. I don't know if you could see that they're copper. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Actually, um, a friend made these for me. Isn't that nice? <laughs> she did. She has a cricket. Oh, I would like to get a cricket, but they're too. I don't know. Not sure if I have time for that. I, yeah. Okay, thank you. Then these are just on generic cards that I have, but these are sterling silver. They are vintage. Um, they are shields and they have the feathers hanging. And they're all sterling. These are 20. No, sorry, 18. Sorry, $18. But they are sterling. They have little articulated feathers and they've got the backs. I'll put it on a new card. This card I just kind of, okay, you can see it better. Okay. I'm trying to think as far as post um, goes. Let's see here. Post earrings. Ooh, oh, I have clip, but Mmm, post ones that are, just trying to think what I have as far as post. I'm not really sure. I think that's it as far as, I mean, I have clip-ons that are Native American, but they're clip-ons, so... Okay, thank you, Mary. Pierce, okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, Mary. Let's see, Sterling. Shield. Feather earrings. Okay, thank you. Oof. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's it as far as uh, post type earrings. Unless, well, no, I do have, hold on, let me see. I do have these. 
Well, and I have a clip pair too, I'll show you. I have a couple clip, but I don't know where I put the other clip. Let me put this on a card so you can kind of see it better. Where's the card? Let me grab a card. are vintage. Um, I believe these are native, but they're not marked. But they're teardrops, and then they have a pressed center. And they're all sterling. Oh, I see a kitty out there. That cat is huge, that Maine Coon. That's a huge cat out there. <laughs> um, let me take it off the card. So that's it's like a teardrop. See how it has a little push center? These are 22 if anyone's interested. They are marked 925 on the back. And they're $22. The lighting is bad, but you guys get the gist of it. So they have the pushed center. Okay. Take this off of there so I can use the card. All right, next one. These are clip. Do you like clip, anybody? These are, um, uh, they're Mark Sterling and they are clip earrings, though. They're um, Snowflake Obsidian. I don't know if anyone likes clip, but they are old, vintage. They are um, marked, and I can't remember what they say on the side, to be honest. Hallmark, I should say. But they're Snowflake Obsidian, so that's... Which one did you want? You wanted the silver ones? The, the teardrop ones, um, Francis? The little teardrop silver ones? Okay, thank you. All right. Um, these, like I said, were Snowflake. They're in excellent condition. They are prong set. They're Snowflake Obsidian. They're Sterling. They're Clip. They do have the Hallmark here on the side where my nail is, but I can't read it right now. Okay, thank you. These are going to be, I'm going to do these at 25 because they are Hallmarked. And they're silver. Thank you. Okay. All right. So mama, I think that's it as far as the post ones, but, um, if you liked the red turquoise, let me know. If not, then I'll offer it to someone else. Cause if I don't sell them, I think on here, I'm going to post them if no one wants them today, but they're the red turquoise inlaid in the silver. And these are 25 and they are post. So they're a nice size. I don't know if you can see that, but and it's um the light is bad, but there we go. Okay. All right, next one. I have.
have this pretty ring. This is a native ring. Um, this one is marked F, is it FY? I think it says FY, and it's a native ring. It could be a Yazzie um, native, uh, like Frank Yazzie. Um, and it has the Mother Pearl center. Uh, the size is... I'm going to say five and a half. Yes, five and a half. Ooh, excuse me. Five and a half. It's got the steps on the side and it has a sawtooth bezel. So it's mother pearl. And see the steps? That's added after. And it has the split band here at the bottom. Sawtooth around the bezel. It's Mother of Pearl. The initials are FY. I hope you guys are still there. See that FY? I believe this is by one of the Yazis, uh, Native American. Um, there's a few, quite a few Yazis in the group <laughs> that artisans, but how they signed it. The F is connected to the Y. Anyways, this one's 50 if anyone's interested. It's very unique. Very pretty. And it's a good resale one too. So it's hallmarked, which is nice. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, I don't think Mama's in here anymore. Is she in here? Okay. Mama, if you could tell me if you wanted those uh, red turquoise earrings. Okay. I do have, you guys want to see some copper? I look orange with this light in front of me. <laughs> it's kind of blinding too. <laughs> Let's see, maybe if I push it away a little bit. Okay. All right, so I have a few copper bracelets. One is the Bell Trading Company, one stainless with the inlaid copper, and one has, um, just copper embossing with ox this oxidized copper. This is a cuff, copper. Isn't that beautiful? Embossing. Okay, thank you, Mama, for letting me know. So if anyone else wanted the red turquoise inlaid earrings for 25, let me know. These. Okay, this copper one with the embossing is going to be, I'm going to sell this one for $12 if anyone's interested, which is a lot of copper. It's a cuff. I'm going to put it on. It's pretty nice, actually. Pretty. Twelve dollars if anyone's interested. Okay. This one is the Bell Trading Company. And it says it right here and it's all copper and it has oxidation on it. Um that's just that really beautiful. How much on the, are you talking about this bracelet? Okay, this one's 12. Okay. 
this one is from the Bell Trading Company, and it's all, it's all copper also. Okay, thank you, Mama. Put that there. I'm going to move this. I don't need this here. Let me write that down. Copper. Thank you. Okay, it's very nice, actually. Um, <laughs> okay, this one, the Bell Trading Company, um, it's marked, hallmarked on, is it both sides or just one side? Just one side. So this is it. And it's got oxidized copper. Has the tapered edges. Thank you. And it sells, says Bell Trading Company right here. Right, oop, right where my fingernail above right there. Hi, Lynn. <laughs> How are you? Gosh, this lighting. I think I'm going to move it because it's making me look orangey. <laughs> oh, let's see. Yeah, let me put it up here. Oh, that's better, I think. Yeah, that's a little better anyway. So this one's really pretty. It's all thick copper, tapered, Bell Trading Company. And I'll show you what it looks like on here, on me. Isn't that pretty? Tapered edges. This one's going to be 30 if anyone's interested, but it is by the Bell Trading Company and you could sell it for more. And it's Hallmark. Copper's kind of pricey. Went up just like silver did. Oh, it is marked. Wait a minute. It says Bell Trading Company and then on this side it says, oh no, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. It's on one side. What size on this one? Um, well, you can you could stretch it out if you want to, but right now, as is, the radius across or the um, length from inside to inside is two and a half inches. Yeah. Two and a half inches, you can make it smaller if you like, or keep it as is. This is really a pretty one, though. I like this one a lot. I like that it has the tapered edges. It's just nice looking. Me too. I do like copper. Actually, I do like these earrings. I think they're sweet. Small? Too small. Okay. Okay. If it's me, so, and you guys know I have a larger wrist, so if you wanted to make it smaller, you could just clamp it together. Um, but if it's me and I have a larger wrist. Okay. So that one. Next one is the stainless steel one. This has some flexibility in it too. The copper earrings are 15, Mary. I'm gonna show you what they look like. Aren't they pretty? Okay, this one is stainless steel and then the inlaid copper. Um, and you can see it has flexibility. Okay, you want the earrings? Okay, thank you, Mary. Okay. Oops. Mary. Copper. Um, earrings. Thank you so much. 
I know, I do too. I like copper, period. <laughs> That's why I wear that necklace that I got from Kathleen Brandt all the time. It's so pretty. Um, this one is really nice. It's stainless steel and inlaid copper. Let's see. There we go. So you see how they did? Yeah. <laughs> I like the feathers too, though. See how they did that inlaid? Really nice. Oh, the babies are good. They're all sleeping, actually. This one, oh, I love this one, too. This one's a little small for me, but I could um, stretch it out. I just don't want to. But see how this one is, like, tight on me? <laughs> but it's beautiful inlaid. Look at that. Really nice job. So if you have like a smaller wrist, this is great. Um, you could stretch it out. I just don't want to. Okay, so this one's going to be... We'll do this one... I'm going to do this one at 18 because it's an inlaid, which is really hard work to do. So this one's 18 and it's stainless steel and copper. How did I get the, there we go. Okay. Oh, I have another post set, but I don't know, you might like this set. Their earrings and a necklace set. Hmm. I'm going to put on the mannequin just so you guys can see better. Okay, these are the, the designer earring ones. These are from Mexico, made by Nestor. He's a native also. When I say Native American, that applies to North and South America. Um, so, because they are Native Americans. But um, So just so you guys know, this is made by Nestor. They are marked, hallmarked on the back. It says Mexico 925, Nestor, and then a series of numbers underneath that. Okay, these are post earrings silver, the matching necklace, and then the mat the necklace on the back says sterling. I put it on a new chain um, just to show you guys. If you want the chain, um, oh, I love this set. So that's the pendant. These are the earrings. Isn't that pretty? They're post earrings. I'll show you the marking. The necklace is a brand new, I guess that would be a 20 inch. I'll measure it. Necklace, it's a new necklace. And this is the back. The sterling. Okay. The earrings is where they say Mexico, Nestor, 925 Nestor, and then a series number. Hi, Pat. Yeah, this is a nice set. I hope you guys can see. How are you? <laughs> you must, it must be daytime there, morning, huh? Okay, 
You guys can look this up, but these are beautiful earrings, post earrings. So the set for the earrings and the pendant is $60, and that's including the new chain. Um, Nestor was a big designer in Mexico, and his work is... I can't remember if he's in the Smithsonian, but I'd have to look that up. I just can't remember. But these are beautiful. And they're very thick silver. Okay. It's just a beautiful set. Yes, good morning, Pat. <laughs> good morning. You're probably just having your breakfast, huh? Isn't that beautiful? Okay. All right. I do have some more oops rings. This is vintage. It's a little small dream catcher with um, lapis, and this is liquid silver. And it's got the, a dangle feather on the dream catcher. Um, it does say, does it say sterling? Let's see here. Can't see much. Let me look. But I did test this one. It didn't. No, it doesn't say on the, the the feather. But it is liquid silver, all silver. It's a vintage piece with lapis. It's a little dream catcher. The lapis are cut in hishi beads, which is that barrel um, cut. Isn't that pretty? That's with the light. That's with more natural light. And it has the lapis down here, up here. It's all liquid silver. Isn't that pretty? Oh, this Nestor Tasco short is beautiful. <laughs> well, have a nice breakfast, Lynn. I mean, Pat. <laughs> okay, so this one, if anyone's interested. Oh, and it has the lapis, too, on the dream catcher. This one's going to be 25, if anyone's interested. It's an excellent shape. There's no gapping from like one side of the barrel clasp to the other, as you can see. Very good shape, and it's so beautiful. Let me measure the length. Oh, there we go. Isn't that pretty? Okay, the length is... So it's like almost a 16 inch. Almost, it, it's technically a 16 inch, but a little shy of 16. Thank you, it is very dainty. Um, very, like, very dainty, yeah, I would agree. 
feminine too. And the liquid silver bends so nicely. Okay. All right, next one, I do have this. I'm gonna show it um, again because it is a special piece. I I think I'm gonna list it because um, right now the this one, it's not even as nice as this one, but on eBay it's 375. And it's a bolo um, tie. And it's by um, Bennett Patent Pending. So you guys can look that up. Um, this is a native piece. And the ones that they show on there have very little turquoise. But this is like all turquoise. And it fits so well into the bezel. I mean, that's an art on its own. Oh, the are you talking, um, Daisy, on the this one? This one's 25, the liquid silver one. This one. Okay, now, I sold this one. I don't even want to talk about the story because it'll make me cry, but... <laughs> Um, I know, huh, Pat? <laughs> surprise, surprise. Okay, thank you. Okay, on the lapis. So I'm going to show you. Let me write this down or else I'll forget. Let me put it back in here. Thank you so much, Daisy. Vintage liquid silver lapis dream catcher. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so the person, anyways, I don't want to talk about it. Um, this is a uh, Bennett patent pending. Thank you. And it's a huge bolo tie piece. Um, it doesn't have this, the bolo tie, the leather part. Um, you can get them. They're pretty much everywhere. You can buy vintage ones too. But this one, um, we didn't get it with that. But it's the ones that are selling are 375 And they don't even have as big of a turquoise piece. Look at this thing. See how the bezel fits so perfectly around the stone. It's just a good, perfect fit. That's really awesome silversmithing. So then it's on, see the cuts? That's a very um, native style, of course. And the, you can see it's very thick. I know, isn't that gorgeous? So it's a bolo tie. Vintage, and it says, um, is it upside down? Oh, it is. Bennett Patent Pending. You can look it up on eBay. They have them for three seventy five, and they're not even this big. I'm going to ask the same for this as um, I did last time, and you can make money off of it. If not, I'll probably put it on my store. Um... This one's going to be 175. Now you could make it into a cuff. I thought that would be really pretty. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? Oh my gosh, look at that. Or you, you could keep it as, and you could do it to where you have um, it made into a bracelet using the material, right? That's already here. 
um, and not ruin the back. But yeah, look at that gorgeous turquoise. Look how thick it is. So guys, look it up. Um, I If no one buys it, I'm probably going to post it. But it's a really special piece. Bennett Patent Pending. And that's a Native American piece. Okay. <clears throat> All right. This pretty little bracelet um, is I think I'll show this too. <laughs> Thank you. This is um, a Venturine um we have some quartzite, we have Larimar, so it goes from like a lighter to a darker green, it's a swirl, it's a memory bracelet, and then it has these faceted um, ruby, I mean, yeah, ruby, um, or sorry, garnet beads, so it goes, so it's a very distinct, pretty color. So, I don't know if you guys can see. It goes from this lighter green, here's the Larimar, and then you've got the Venturine, that it goes into the Venturine, and then into the Garnet. Good night, Mama! Into the Garnet faceted beads, so isn't that beautiful? <laughs> this is gorgeous. Um, this one's 20 if anyone's interested, which is really a great price for all these stones. And it feels good on because of the stones. It feels nice and cool. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Thank you, Mom Mom, for coming in. Okay. Really nice. Ooh. Really a unique design, too. Okay. This one, I can't remember if this is um, Tasco. Let me check. Oh, this one's signed on the back. Okay. Ooh, gosh. I'm glad I didn't sell it for what I was going to sell it. So this one is um, etched on the back, signed in cursive. Um, e, e, and it's a Zuni piece. It's inlaid mother pearl, turquoise, red turquoise, more mother pearl, and... I think that's also mother of pearl for the center of the body. It's a pendant brooch. And it's a Zuni piece. Uh oh Butterfly. So all inlaid in sterling. And you can see the pendant part or the brooch part. Can you see the writing? Right under, right at the top of there. I think that's where it says Zuni. It's probably hard to see. And then it says EE. -E. Itchy. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, this is pretty. And you can wear it as either brooch or I would probably wear it as a pendant. And it being Zuni. I'm going to sell this one for 45 Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I need water. I feel parched. I wish I had more coffee, too. <laughs> um, 
Now, let me see if I can get up kind of close so you guys can see. Francis, are you going to bed too? It's uh, handwritten, like in cursive at the top, Zuni and then EE. Okay, 45 on that one. Really beautiful inlaid work. Okay, and I'm going to show this um, malachite ring. And I'm going to grab some water too. This is a size six. What time is it, you guys? Can't tell on here. Let me see. It is six. Oh, okay. All right. Um, this is the malachite, um, like slice, and it is in sterling silver. It is a native ring. Um, this is a really old ring, probably from the late 40s, or, or sorry, late 30s, early 40s, and it's a size 6. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Guy. See the work? Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's so gorgeous with the, the rose work. And then it comes around this side. Isn't that beautiful? Shine it up. <laughs> you can see the reflection in it. Um, so this is the quartz version of the malachite. You can see the lines in it. That's why they have the open back. I don't know if you can see. It's beautiful, you guys. This one is um, more on the antique side. And I'm going to say 60 on this one because of it. Because it is from the late 30s, early 40s. And you can just tell by the work, too. You can also, oops, you can also tell from the underneath part. Let me show you how they mounted things. See that? Really, really sturdy. Very, and very intricate. If, look at that on the band. Just beautiful, and it goes into these flowers. Real pretty. So that one's 60, and it's a sliced malachite. Okay, I'm going to grab my water. Um, and... Uh, yes, I'll be right back. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'll be right back. Was I supposed to grab anything else, though? I don't think so. Okay, be right back. Ouch. Ouch. That chair kind of hurts me. this water instead. Okay, I'm almost done. Sorry guys. Okay. Yeah. 
that's cold too. <clears throat> okay. And did I miss anything? No. Okay. Um, let's see. What else shall I okay, I'll show you this. Okay, this is a coral ring. This is vintage. It's a Native American ring. Um, and I can't remember what it says. Wow, my eyes are so bad. It's just in a weird spot, but I think it says 925. And I don't think it had a hallmark, but it is a Native ring just from the work my dad said. Look at this beauty. Oh, size is, it is a size, uh, I'm going to say six and three quarters, almost a seven. Come here, come on, come on, Cookie, come on, come on, come on, come on, jump, oh, my baby. I'm going to say six and three quarters. Oh, it fits like a seven, though. Well, we'll just say between a six and three quarters and a seven. And that's coral. It's a big chunky ring. Oh, that reminds me. I have another coral ring, but it's kind of put on reserve um, from for somebody. I need to find out if they still want it. Um, but this one is solid coral. Isn't that pretty? I love this one. This one's 65 if anyone's interested, but it's, it is vintage. Um, it is all coral, vintage coral. And it fits like a seven, because it fits me. You know what? I did lose weight because I can tell the seven fits pretty nicely on me. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Too small, okay. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful, Martha? Here's your baby. Come here, baby doll. Cookie. One cheeky. Come here. Come here, baby. Baby cakes. Show it. Say hello to everyone. Baby, baby. Baby boy. Lynn, your girlfriend is on here. Lynn is here. Sometimes when I hold him, if if I if he's staring at me. And I don't, I, if I ask him what's wrong, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Baby, don't cry, baby. Don't cry, baby. He'll start crying. <laughs> Where's Gary? Gary! Gary! Gary, where's Gary? Want to go bye-bye? <laughs> You're so cute. Look at your little body. His little body is so teeny tiny and so cute. Mm, baby, look how gorgeous you are. You're so gorgeous, baby. Look at this. Mm, what's wrong, baby? Don't cry. Don't cry, baby. He'll do it to my dad, too. It's so funny. <laughs> He's such a cry baby. <laughs> I love my babies. I know, my little angels. Yeah, I was an eight before. So, see, a seven fits me. I used to wear a five, six before I gained all this weight. Yes, it's happening. <laughs> uh, he just wants hugs and kisses, I know, my baby. Oh, he, he's very muscular, too. So he's not a squishy dog. You know, like some cats are squishy and some are kind of muscular. Oh, here we go. We got to get rid of this one. Let's see. Let's see here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. And. Okay. There we go. Okay, thanks guys. Done. <laughs> All right. Um, so there's that one. Then there's this coral pendant. Now this one's from my dad's collection. It is new. 
Um, it's hammered silver. I think this one was made in, man, I don't remember. And it's not stamped, or it was inside the bale, but I know I can't read that. It's going to be too tiny for me. But it is sterling. Um, my dad's probably had this one about 10 years, maybe 12. I'm going to put it on a chain just so you guys can see. <laughs> yeah, I got that little sucker. Block him so he can't come back. Yeah, let me... Um, I don't know how to do wrenches on my phone, though. That's the only thing. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Wait. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Why won't it? It's like I'm touching. <sighs> okay. Well, no, it won't let me now. <sighs> of course it won't. Oh. Okay, I can't do it on here. I don't know why. It can block people, but it's not letting me add moderators. Oh, here we go. There we go. Okay, so now... What, baby? What? What, baby? What, why are you crying now? Because I said you were going to cry before, and now you're really going to cry? What, baby? Don't cry. Don't cry, babysito. No. Don't cry. Can you guys hear him? Oh, thank you, Daisy. <laughs> Don't cry, baby. Don't cry. Oh, my goodness. You're such a... Oh, you're a crybaby. I know. I know. Look at He wants to get inside my, my jacket, but I don't have... No, no, buddy. That's my necklace. You're going to break it. Baby, I don't have my jacket on, okay? You can't get inside. I have no jacket. All right. Don't be a baby, baby. Oh, I love my baby, though. You're so gorgeous. You're so beautiful. Beautiful. Don't cry, baby, okay? Try not to be a crybaby. Nobody likes a crybaby. Okay? Okay. Look at him pushing away. Too bad, baby. You got to get down now. Oh, my gosh. He'll do the same thing to my dad when my dad's over here. He goes bananas for my dad. And um, <laughs> he'll just look. He'll stand on my dad's stomach <laughs> like he does mine. And he'll just, he'll look at you. And then he want, he'll cry if you don't acknowledge him. Okay, let's see. Yeah, so I blocked him. And, okay, okay. All right. Oh. I have to block him again? Okay, let's see. He was blocked. I don't see him. Uh, let's see. Message deleted. Yeah. Okay, I don't see him around anymore. I think he's blocked. Ugh, little trolls. Be gone. It's like, go... Go do something else. Go get an ice cream somewhere or something. <laughs> All right. Or a frozen yogurt, whatever. Um, let's see. Let's see. Different name, maybe we changed a little. Okay. And we do a block or delete after someone, the last command stands. Oh, okay. That's good to know. And you have 15 seconds to unblock someone um, <clears throat> if it's a mistake, I believe, right? So the tag's kind of in the way here, but just ignore the tag. Okay. No, I blocked him, but he's still gone. If someone undid it, it looks like he's still gone. I blocked him. So it's hammered silver, and then it's got the normal bezel, tight fit, and then it has the braiding around the base of that on the coral. Isn't that beautiful? Really pretty. I think this is the last of my dad's old coral that he bought. It's a new piece, but it, it's the, la the last of his collection that he had in the coral. So I sold... The last one for 75 
but I'm going to sell this one today only for $65 without the chain, but if you want the chain, just let me know. So $65, it's a good size too. And here's the back. little breathing room. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. And so today only 65. So if someone comes back and emails me too late, because <laughs> I think I want to sell this one in my uh, online store if no one's going to buy it. Because I can get a little more for it. Okay, we'll move on. Oh, uh, let's see. No, I didn't type them out. Okay, Aventurine bracelet. That one, this one here, this one was 20, the memory one. It's got Aventurine and a little bit of Laramar. There's a few pieces of Laramar in here too. And then the garnet also. This one's 20. Daisy. <clears throat> Yeah, it says message deleted by Michelle, but I think it's just because you went to go look at it. It's no biggie. Yeah, it's no biggie. We'll, we'll, we'll get rid of them one way or another. Okay, thank you, Daisy. See, the later you're on, too, I think it really perpetuates the little naughty trolls. I've seen him before, though. I have seen him before. Or her. It could be a her, too. Who knows? I assume it's a, you know, male, but it's, it could be either. All right. Thank you, Daisy. Oopsie. All right. So I'm just going to call this a venturing, um, garnet Larimar bracelet. Thank you. Aventurine is so pretty, isn't it? Oh, you know what? I'm going to show you these Aventurine earrings, Daisy. You might like them. What did I do with it? Hold on. I'll grab them in a second. But um... Thank you, Pat. Thank you, guys. <laughs> okay, let me show um, Daisy these earrings real quick. I know Michelle bought a pair. Francis, you bought a pair. But I gotta find the other ones that I have. Let me grab it real quick. So, Daisy, if you like these, these are Aventurine and Amethyst. i got to look up the price, though. Look how pretty. So, there's three Aventurine and then the Amethyst at the top there. And then there's the, I call them banded. They're uh, Black Jasper, um, Amethyst. Oh, I have it stuck. Um, Amethyst and Aventurine. I know, me too, Lynn. I love garnets. Isn't that beautiful? I think, uh, Pat, you got a pair of these too. Okay. I got to look up the price really quick because I don't remember. <laughs> Hold on. So if you're interested in those, um, from my friend who makes them, they are... Those ones are, where is it? Um, the banded ones are $7, and the trio one is 7 So they're both 7 So these are 7 and these are 7 
Let me see. Which one goes better with the bracelet? You know what, I think, let me see, hold on. This is just my opinion and I'll ask her to make them for you, but I think it would be pretty with the Aventurine um, rounds and then the she has Aventurine that are chips. So instead of the amethyst on top, have aventurine chips which looks like let me show you an example so it'll be all aventurine and she'll make whatever you guys want so like this <clears throat> so it'll have like instead of the you know so it'll be like That's going to be hard to show. Let's see. I think you'll get the idea. But the balls and the... Instead of the amethyst at the top, it'll have the chips on top. What do you think? I think that would be pretty. And she said she has small um, aventurine. I'll just tell her to make all aventur aventurine for seven dollars and she has this size and then a smaller size boy that looks really green doesn't it um, a smaller size of venturine and then have her put the chip I think that would be pretty I'll shoot you a couple pictures of what she comes up with because she really has made some beautiful designs so we'll just say seven dollars if you want one um, venturine earrings I am Pam. I know I didn't anticipate to be actually. Oh, to show it with it. Let's see. Okay. Well, here's an idea, but this is just the chips and these are pearls, but isn't that pretty with the chips? So I think with the chips and the balls together, the smaller and the larger size, it might be really pretty. Now the balls look a lot greener, so maybe the chips would be better chips and then the smaller ones that she was talking about you know what I mean yeah I think that would be better I'll have her make a couple and see what you better okay and I'll send you a picture through email or on messenger but I'll just tell her to make a seven dollar pair okay that would be pretty actually all right, let's see. So thank you. And <clears throat> we're just going to put tentative, tentative aventurine earrings. And then I'll shoot you some pictures. Okay. So before the troll came, <laughs> this one was 65 if anyone's interested. Okay. Alright, next thing. I know I said I said I wasn't gonna stay on very long. Well, sometimes when you're having fun, it's hard to get off, you know? <laughs> so can you guys hear my dog snoring? That's lucky. Boy, she is snoring. I'm going to show this, well, I already showed you guys. Well, I'll show it again. I think it'd be pretty on a necklace. And I'm going to show you guys real quick. <clears throat> Gosh, it's nice coming on earlier because when I get off, I can go make dinner. Oh, guys, I had the best breakfast today. I had, um, well, it was brunch, I wouldn't say. 
it was instead of steak and eggs, because I don't eat steak or meat, I eat fish. So I had salmon and eggs. And boy, that was good. Really good. And I know that normally they serve steak and eggs with like cheese toast or something. I had it with tortillas. And I shared it with my dogs. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys this. <clears throat> how it looks because I think it's really beautiful together. Um, if you buy them together, if you decide you like it, I'll take $5 off because um, they really do look very nice together. So this is without the chain, but if you want the chain, we can add that in too. So they're both red turquoise. I'm going to pull the chain up a little bit <clears throat> so you can see. Isn't that pretty together? Oh, it's kind of hard to see. Oh, with the lighting. So like I said, this pendant is a Zuni. That one's 45, but look how pretty it looks with these earrings. And the earrings were 25 but if you bought the set, we would take 25 or 5 off. Where did the earring go? Did I drop it? Oh, I did. Oops. And by the way, the, um, the red turquoise, it's not inlaid like a thin layer. It's solid like the ring. Um, where did it go? Where? I thought that was it on the floor, but no. Okay, I just lost the earrings. <laughs> I just lost the earrings. Anyway. <laughs> but they were a pretty set together. Where in the world did it go? Anyway. I just love this on the necklace. Alright, we're going to move on. Okay, so let me show you guys some other stuff. Um, I really do love Aventurine also. I, I think that um, the healing properties on Aventurine, they had something special, some something special that I liked also that I think that's why I'm always drawn to Aventurine. But I don't remember what it was. I have to look it up. <clears throat> oh, here. Here's the earring. How come I couldn't see that? Anyway, what a good match, huh? All right. Okay, let's move on from this piece and that piece. Anything that you guys want to see in particular? We're like company. <laughs> Let's see. You like to put salmon and scrambled eggs. Oh my gosh, I love smoked salmon. That is so good. Yes. Ooh, yummy. Mmm. Yes, and a bagel. And I don't like cream cheese normally. I don't know why I don't like it. But um, it kind of upsets my stomach a little bit because it's so rich and it's dairy. But, oh my gosh, with the uh, locks, salmon locks, the best way to go. Oh, I just love smoked salmon. You know, I haven't had uh, smoked salmon in a very long time. And I felt like I was splurging, actually, because I had um, the uh, salmon uh, fillets that I bought. Because I really felt like I needed some extra protein. But you know what? It was worth it. It was so good. I mean, really good. Alright, I'm going to put all of the coral together. Uh-oh. Okay, this is a little tight on me. <laughs> so now I can't get it off. Oh, here we go. Well, it is a six and three quarters. What was I thinking? Okay, so putting that back in... Put all the coral together, keeping it together. Yeah, good. 
All right. So, um, sorry, you guys. The other thing is this sweet little ring. Now, this one is an old vintage ring. It's got crushed coral and crushed um, turquoise. It's very small. It's a size 4. It's vintage. It's a little native ring. But look how sweet this is. This one is 15, if anyone's interested. Now, this is inlaid. Could see the silver inlay. Is that pretty? Fifteen on that one, and it's a size four. It's teeny tiny, so if you have really small fingers, that's good. This one, now this is a beauty too. Um, it's a bigger size. It's a size nine. This is um, Sterling Silver Band Prong Set, a huge citrine, huge. Let's see. Uh, pretty much Trader Joe's has, oh yeah, Trader Joe's. Oh, did you guys hear that Trader Joe's um, founder passed away? I think it was today, actually. No, yesterday. I think it was yesterday. Yeah. So sad, but his brother is the one that owns Aldi. Um, what did I say? Size nine? This is a size nine, so that's citrine. Look at how big that is. I don't even know the carrots. It's prong set. Look at that. Um, I'm gonna I don't know. I can't even say how many carrots that is. Wow. 89. Isn't that incredible? So this is a vintage ring also, huge citrine. I'm going to say 75 on this one because of how big the stone is. You know, you could have a collective amount of a stone all around to add up to a certain amount of carrots, but when it's one big stone like this, it's more valuable. Yeah, isn't that crazy? This thing is huge, and I love the setting. I agree. So pretty. Very different. I like the way they have the stone going horizontally on your finger. Isn't that pretty? Okay. All right. Next step. I do, I'm going to show some fashion jewelry, um, and then I'll, I'll call it a night pretty soon, guys, because I know it's, I've been on here for a little while. I didn't, really didn't intend to, to be honest. It just kind of ended up being that way, but, um, sometimes time flies when you're having fun. Now, here's some... Uh, here is some fashion jewelry. Okay, this is a very, well, I don't know if I want to sell this one. I'm going to wait on that one. Because I do like it. Oh, where did I pick it off? Here we go. This is a Sarah Coventry brooch. Um, it sells for about $25 on up on Posh and online. Oh, what is this thing? And um, I'm going to sell it for less so you guys can resell it for and get some money. But it's huge. And the ones that I saw weren't as nice, and some were um, gold. So it is Sarah Coventry. It says it right here on the back. It does have a little wear, um, and I think it's just a like a darker version of the silver there on the leaf. I don't know if you can see it. It's like darker uh, on the back part. You can't see it. 
it's so faint, but I, I it's just like a darker silver spot. Um, so it's not where I shouldn't say where it says Sarah Coventry. I'm going to sell this one for 12 if anyone's interested. And it's pretty big. I mean, look it in my palm. So it goes for $25 and up on Poshmark, eBay, that sort of thing. And this one's 12 Okay, next one. This is also Sarah Coventry. It's from 1971, uh, her vintage collection. And it is um, a little shaggy dog. Oops, hold on. Let me, there we go. Now they have these in gold, so the silver one is a little more rare. Look how cute he is. Okay, this one goes for anywhere from $12 to $25 from eBay, Posh, um, all those places. Isn't he cute? I'm gonna ask 10 for this one. And it is marked um, on his leg in the back. Back here, Sarah Cub, right there. And this one's 10. Okay. All right. I think I shall end it here, guys, and I will definitely, um, so Daisy, I will have her, my friend, her name is Gazelle, or I mean Giselle, Gazelle, Giselle, I'll have her do the Aventurine um, earrings, and I'll shoot you a couple different versions, and then um, also, Pam, if you're still on here, I'll have her make the... Um, um, the, what's it called? Um, how light earrings. Now, I don't know if Pam is still on here. Pam, do, is surgical still okay? Or do you want silver plated or silver hooks? Cause I know, I can't remember if you said you were allergic to certain metals. Okay. <clears throat> I think you were okay with surgical steel, right? Um, anyway, she made some really classic ones and I wish I would have taken a picture. Anyways, let me know. And guys, thanks for coming on with me. Oh, the big citrine I know, huh? It's so pretty. So, so pretty. The lever kind. Steel is fine, but it can't wear French backs or the lever kind. Okay, these are just like hooks. Okay. Okay, good to know. Um, so I'll, I'll have her make a couple, or she already had a couple made. I'll take pictures of them and send them to you. Okay, good night all. And Doris, I will call you if that's okay. And uh, just make sure that I have everything for you. So thank you, you guys. I had a great time. I'm so glad I came on earlier because it's always nice coming on um, early and get you know that way i can make dinner and do my thing too <laughs> so thank you everyone i will talk to you guys soon i don't think i'm going to come on live for decor tonight but i i do i would like to do a video but i'll probably do that in the morning because i'm a, i'm i have too much to get done now um but guys you guys all have a blessed sunday and i will talk to you all later bye guys Okay, thanks, Doris. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, Daisy, Francis, Michelle, Doris, uh, Pam, Kathy, <laughs> all that's left, Pat, Pat, and Lynn, and I think that's it, huh? Michelle, maybe? Okay, guys, bye.